2015 Mazda 5 with a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine. The problem we're having with this car is the check engine light is on and the DTC that we're getting is this P0137 oxygen sensor circuit low voltage on bank one sensor two. So what does that mean? It means that the something is affecting the function of the downstream O2 sensor that is located after the catalytic converter. So we're going to go ahead and replace this O2 sensor. To replace the sensor we have to get underneath the car to where the sensor is located and there it is. It just comes out of the exhaust and it connects underneath the car so this should be a pretty easy sensor to remove and replace. So in order to do this I've started by disconnecting the sensor from the harness right back here and I'm using a O2 sensor socket well, that makes it uh, pretty much a, a breeze to loosen this. Nothing to it. This is the old sensor removed and this is the new sensor and with its part number I'll include a link to this in the video description. I've chosen a Denso sensor Denso is one of the best brands. Just beware that there are a lot of fake or counterfeit Denso sensors on the market. A Denso sensor, an authentic Denso sensor will always come in this blue cardboard box. If it does not come in a blue cardboard box like this then you have reason to suspect that it is not a genuine Denso sensor. Side by side the new sensor is almost exactly the same length as the old sensor. So this should ensure a good fit in the car. Installing this is very simple. I just thread it in by hand into the exhaust and then I tighten it down snug using my ratchet with this O2 sensor socket and I will include a link to this O2 sensor socket in the video description. Everything is back securely in place. The uh, sensor wires are running through their little retainer and securely plugged in. And next we want to test this installation. And the ultimate test is just to drive the car and see if the uh, check engine light goes away. All done. We cleared the code, drove the car, check engine light did not return so replacing the downstream O2 sensor did take care of the P0137 and that's it for this video thank you for watching